Hey guys, Patrick here. Today I'm going to show you NBA Top Shot. So let's get started by going to nbatopshot.com and this is their website. It's pretty amazing. You can look at the collections that are out there. They sell packs that you can open up and find cards in them or you can go to their marketplace and purchase cards that are available for sale. So you can see the different cards, what numbers available out of, and the lowest asking price for that card. So let's get started with signing up for NBA Top Shots. So in order to sign up, they do require you to have a Google account right now. So you cannot sign up with just an email. So to get started, go to or do a search for create a Google account and pretty much they'll force you to set up your own Gmail and that will give you your account name. You can use your current email address as well if you'd like to, which is a great option so you don't have another email address to manage. So I went ahead and I did that for this account. So I created Patrick Wagner NBA. Temporary password in there. And it connects with your Google account and basically gives you your terms of use and you're good to go. That's it. This is one of the, the big successes of NBA Top Shot was this simple sign up process. So you allow notifications, you can join their Discord and talk to other folks and traders, pick your team, and then they start encouraging you to do the right things. So that's it. As soon as you're set up like this, you can go ahead and let's say, look at a card that you're interested in. You can select the one you want to purchase. Let's go with something really low price, 265. Click on buy it. And this will take you to your Dapper Labs account. And that's actually where they have an account set up. Let's try that again. I think in my previous example, yep, I had something else up. So basically you have a balance. You can fund your account with your credit card and that's another one of these secrets. So you can put in $200, see purchased app or balance, yes. And there you go. You can pay with your credit card or you can pay with crypto. So if you have Ether, you can pay with an existing wallet as well as your Dapper balance and Flow. So these options make it very, very easy to load your account and then you can go back and make your purchase at NBA Top Shot. And you can purchase right off the marketplace. It's a very simple process. It works really well, it's really quick. And then from that moment forward, you end up having your own profile where you can see your moments. Let's see if I can pull up my own account. It's not this test account. Maybe you can see some of the items in my NBA Top Shot account. There we are. So this is one of my favorite cards here is the LeBron James owned by me. Let's see how much it goes for. It's not for sale, but if we went and looked at a card like this that was for sale, let me see if I can click on that. There we go. So the lowest price right now, if you wanted to buy this card is $14.25 and the highest price is $250. So you can look at serial numbers and see the number one is for sale at that price. You can start to see roughly what your card is worth. So I think that one that I had was in the 1880s. So it's probably worth around 2,300 bucks. That's it. So go ahead, sign up for your NBA Top Shot account, get set up, make sure you have your Google account set up and you can start collecting, go to the marketplace, I highly suggest signing up for their emails. Um, once they have packs or they're gonna be offering them, they usually have an email service. So I'd go ahead with that. 
That'll make a big difference in the chance of you actually getting a card. And then last but not least, there's not a lot of packs available. And the way they have a system set up is if they open up uh, 50,000 packs for sale, what ends up happening is you can line up and wait in line for the sales time. So what happened last time was they opened it for 1 p.m., got overwhelmed, and they shot it out to 3 p.m., got overwhelmed, and they put it out till 8 p.m. Eastern time. And at that point, anybody who logged in for the lineup got randomized and got a number. And once you were in line, I think there was like 45,000 packs left. When I was in line, I was number 55,000. So I didn't think I was going to get a pack. But what they do is once your line position is available, they give you 15 minutes to purchase a pack at that time. And then it just disappears. So you can only also buy one pack. So this is really important to know. The return on investment on the $14 for like the last pack I bought was probably over $1,000. Now I got lucky with a couple of cards, but either way, the packs are a great way of going. So make sure you know when they're for sale and pick some up of those or find some on the marketplace. Watch those cards and pick up some of your favorite cards just to see how the system works for you. Anyways, if you have any questions about NBA Top Shots or collecting on NBA Top Shot, you know, send me a message, ask a question in uh, the comments below. I'd love to help you out and good luck collecting NBA Top Shot. Have a great day, guys.